Today I'm going to share with you guys <laughs> My voice crack. Today I'm going to share with you guys a NARS inspired makeup look. I love watching their videos about how to use their products and they always use the smallest amount of product and apply with their fingertips and it's really geared toward runaway makeup and really enhancing um, the model's natural features. And that's what I want to show you guys how to do today, how to enhance your natural features and how not to spend half an hour doing makeup when you don't really need to necessarily. That um, there are other ways to still use as much product. No, there's still other ways to use as many different types of products as you want, but you don't have to take as much time to do it. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. First, we're going to take the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And the key to this look is really taking as little as possible of the product. So I'm just going to take a dot and put it in my T-zone. That just isn't enough for me. I have to do another one. Um, but this is definitely less than the amount of product I normally use. Primer is now done. See, this is going to make our makeup go so much faster. Now I'm just shaking up the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade, I think it's light one. And with this, we're just going to do a dot. I'm going to rub it between our fingers here. And again, there. Under the eyes. Okay, I'm not seeing how they are doing this. Only half of my face has the foundation on. Okay, I'm going to see about doing another drop here. Now, instead of rubbing my fingertips together, I'm just going to take a little of the product on my other finger and then place it around my face that way. Remainder on the neck. We are just going to do some concealer. I'm using the Dolce & Gabbana concealer in the shade Ivory. This is a matte concealer. In order to make sure we don't use too much product, I'm just going to be placing it on my finger here and dabbing under the eye. Oh, shit. I think we totally cheating on this. This isn't exactly a challenge, but it's still just like something I'm trying to do. Okay, well, we only used four different dots of this, so that's good. Now just rub it in. And I'm also taking the, the residual of it and putting it on top of my eyelid to sort of prime the eyeshadow. We're not going to use powder for this look because we really want it to be less is more. So we're just going to skip right on to the next step. We're going to use some bronzer. I'm using the NARS in the shade Laguna. And we're going to take the smallest amount and put it on the cheekbones. And across the hairline here. And under the chin. Now we're going to take some blush. I'm using NARS in the shade Gulu or Goulé. I'm taking the smallest amount on the apples of the cheek. Now for some eyeshadow, I'm using the Tartlet palette and just taking a matte shade, the lightest one possible, just to highlight under the eyebrow. And then taking a transition shade for the crease, I am using the shade. taking this purple shade. We're also going to add this to the lids and we're going to drag it underneath the eye. Taking this darker shade here, brown shade, we're putting this in the outer V. And last but not least, a dot of the purple. I'm just going to run some eyeliner under the eyes. I'm using a NARS Cold pencil in the shade Mambo. It's a dark brown. For mascara, I'm using the Voluminous Butterfly. It's black is black, and this is from L'Oreal. Just going to quickly do my brows. 
using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown. Always. I'm just gonna go over this with clear brow gel. You're going to take the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Belly de Jour. It's a very nude color. Using very little product. And then we are going to take the NARS Lipstick in the shade Rose Cliff. And this time we're just going to dab a very, you can see the color there, a very little amount. We're not going to do the whole lip thing. Because what NARS usually does is they take the smallest amount and they place it on the lips. They just dab it. Just for a hint of color. Last but not least, we are going to highlight. I'm taking the NARS Illuminator in Copacabana. I'm taking, again, just a tiny, tiniest amount. I'm just gonna rub this between my fingertips and I'm going to put it on the high points on my cheeks, above the brow there, and below the cheekbones here. And if you want, you can place it on the tip of the nose, on the top of the nose, and on the cupid's bow. And voila, we are done.